Hi everybody, in the last video I gave tips on staying safe and having a successful night dive. In this video I'm going to give tips on photography for night dives. Let's check it out. What I like most about night dives is you get to see cool animals that you don't see during the day, like this beautiful large green moray eel. You might also see octopuses, crabs, shrimp, lobsters, often seen in the open seafloor, not just hiding under a ledge. For night photography, you need a strobe to illuminate your subject while taking the picture, much preferred over the flash from your camera. You need a focus light to see and focus on the subject before you take the picture you see in the upper left there. You can see that this can be an actual focus light or a video light, but don't use the guide light on the strobe as a focus light because this limits creative strobe positioning, which I'll talk more in the next video. Get a focus light with a long charge life, a somewhat broad, soft beam, and adjustable power. Now some divers like a red light for focus um, because it doesn't disturb the subjects as much, but I don't have much luck with this. I have tri trouble seeing. I have much better luck just turning down the power of my white focus light and um, if the subject doesn't like the light. You also need a dive light to navigate okay and allow your buddy to see you as well and the dive light does not have to be an additional light you could use your focus light as your dive light but make sure all your lights are fully charged and be aware of their remaining power I also keep a backup light in my BC now I stated in the last video take your time setting up your camera and dive gear before the dive but you also need to carefully review all your camera settings before entering the water. At night you have to pay extra attention to your dive buddy and navigation and it can be hard and you don't always have the time to adjust all your camera settings. I recently shot an entire night dive with my ISO mistakenly set way too high resulting in all my pictures being really grainy very very disappointing now settings that i review before the dive include file and size type the mode which is manual exposure comp compensation which is neutral my shutter speed which i always keep at one to two hundredth of a second the iso which is always set at lowest and the lcd readout where i can see the image and the aperture and other information but also importantly the actual histogram and finally i set my focus to center spot focus auto release and focus lock. Now once I'm un underwater on night dives I only change my aperture to control my depth of field and I sometimes change my strobe position and occasionally strobe power but I generally do not change the other settings. Just remember check all your settings before you enter the water. Now you can't see very far ahead at night so you might as well go slow and this will help you find creatures and unusual marine life and also get a close approach like this beautiful uh, mantis shrimp. Now this is important. Here's how my LCD image looked to me on a night dive of this lobster. It looks pretty good. This is my actual LCD on the camera and in the dark that's how it looked. But here's how the photo turned out. Really underexposed. I couldn't tell at night just by looking at the LCD image since everything was dark the image itself looked relatively quite bright. On night dives, you must set your LCD such that you can see the image and information, but also the histogram. Do not rely on how your image appears on the LCD, because at night, your image could appear very bright like this one did, but it could really be very underexposed. And here, you can see when I set my image to show the histogram, I could easily tell now my image was really underexposed. You can see all the pixels there way over to the left or dark part. So I increased my strobe power and got closer with my strobe, got another shot in a different position, but now this is a much better exposure, okay? Also, remember on night dives, your strobe illuminates everything. There is no ambient light, okay? With close focus, wide angle, you don't have to worry about balancing strobe light with background light, because strobes light everything. There is no background light, or there's no natural light. But you must get close. Your camera should be within four to six feet of anything you actually want your photo to show. Now here's a night dive wide angle shot of a sleeping parrotfish on the reef. My two strobes illuminated everything that is visible. Here's a night dive 
close focus wide angle shot of an octopus in my dive buddy. Because of the forced size perspective with close focus wide angle, my dive buddy looks small and quite far away from the octopus, but he was really only about two to three feet behind the octopus. Any farther in my strobe would not have illuminated him. For both macro and wide angle at night, take advantage of the black background. Let the subject pop out like this octopus or this beautiful super macro shot of a banded coral shrimp and eye. However, the black open water background might not look great if there is a ton of particulate matter in the water creating backscatter. Now in this situation, you can just shoot down and let the distracting background hide the backscatter, but then you don't get the beautiful black water background. Or you can get really close to the subject and virtually fill your frame with the subject. The subject, again, hides the backscatter. Plus there is less backscatter in the water column since the water column is so small when you are closer. So, in conclusion, you need a strobe, a focus light, and a dive, night, dive light to navigate, and a backup light in your BC for night dives. Carefully review all your camera settings before entering the water. Go slow, go at a slow pace. On your LCD settings, make sure you see your histogram, not just the LCD image. Uh, get very close to your subject. Strobes illuminate everything. There is no available, available light. And try to take advantage of the beautiful back, black background at night to let the subject pop out. Well, there you have it. Now, on my next video, I'm going to give important tips for creative stroke positioning on night dives. Thanks for your attention.